Hi everyone, this is Ruth from Steal Your Apps and in this video I will take you through setting up a product upsell on your thank you page. Product upsell is one of the most popular and best converting widgets we have in Reconvert. It's going to help you get your customers to buy again directly from the thank you page. Plus a little bonus for the video, I'm gonna give you some tips on how to maximize this widget conversion. So this is not just a technical product upsell setup. I'm gonna give you our best tips that we've seen from thousands of stores that help them increase conversions. Okay, we are in the reconvert dashboard and in order to add a product upsell widget, we first have to go into the page builder. So I'm going to edit my active template by just going to customize. If you want to add it to a different template, you can do that as well, just by scrolling down for the rest of your templates and customize one of them. But we are going to do it in the default one. So click in customize. First I have to choose, do I want to put the product upsell on the right section or on the left? Left section. I am going to put it on the right section this time. So let's go to right area, add a section, and you can find a product upsell right here. It is even starred because it is one of our recommended widgets. I'm gonna click add. Now before we go into the settings, you can see that it automatically adds a product upsell widget here with some generic data just for you to see what it's going to look like. Of course, in the real thank you page, you will see an actual product image here and you will see actual data in the variant selections and quantity. So we first need to select the product to show. So there are a few options here and actually default option is the most convert in one. I know it's going to surprise some of you, but we have seen it in thousands of stores. The best way to actually convert people with this specific widget is to add the most expensive product purchased. What does that mean? If I bought three items, the item that will show up here is one of those three items, the most expensive one. Why does this work? Because you offer your customers a discount for this product. And let's say I bought a dress and it's blue, but I also wanted the red. Now I can get the red for like 20% off and a lot of the times people accept this offer. The most expensive product purchased is the best way to convert, but we have other options as well. So click in this drop down we have the option to use some of our integrations such as Wiser, Personalized Recommendations, Rebuy and Recomatic. These are the apps that we currently, at the time of filming this video, integrate with. But uh, by the time you've seen it, there might be other options here and that's also okay. For each app that you click, you will see a different type of message. So for example, if I click Personalized Recommendations, the app is not currently installed on my store, so I have an Install button. And after I install that, I will have a refresh button. When I click that, it will recognize that the app is installed and actually let me activate the integration. Let's click this. Okay, it doesn't matter, I don't have to install the app, I just want you guys to see the check status button. Now for another app, let's say Recomatic, I actually have it installed in my store, so I don't have to do anything else, the integration is active. No matter what app you choose, you will have the instructions that you need to actually activate the integration for this specific app. We will also have some videos for each app explaining exactly how the integration works. So you can check it out on our YouTube channel on the playlist if you're watching this from the app. The other option that we have is the Shopify product recommendations. This is a dynamic recommendations option that is based on the product collections, but you don't need any third party app for that. So the Shopify recommendations is going to be a little less smart. It only bases the recommendations on the product collections, but it's free and you don't need a third party app. So it's really up to you. Choose what works for your store. Next, we have the cheapest product purchased. It's the same as the most expensive product purchased, but the other way around. And you can choose a specific product if you want. If you choose a specific product, this is the product that will show up no matter what. So for example, in here, I'm going to show this specific variation of a levitating air bonsai. This is the product that the customers will see no matter what they bought. 
It has a lot of disadvantages, as you know, it is completely static and not dynamic, but for some stores it could work. Maybe you have one product that customers will always want to buy, or maybe you only have a few specific products and you know that they all fit each other. That's totally fine. Now, if you chose to show a specific product, you need to decide what would happen if this product is already in the cart. For example, if the levitating air floating bonsai pot is already in the original order. You can choose what to do. You can either display this product anyway, in this case the customer will see it again even if he already has it in the original order. You can hide the featured product which means that the whole widget will not show up. So this widget will be completely hidden, the customer will not see it. Or you can display an alternative product and here again you can choose a specific product that you want to show. That's pretty much it for specific product. Now I'm gonna go back to the most expensive product purchase. This is the setting I want to use. You can also use something that we call exclusion tags. When you decide to use exclusion tags, you can basically write some tags here. So let's say no upsell. Any product that is tagged with no upsell will not show up here, even if it fits the requirements that we've set up. Even if a dynamic recommendations app returned this product, or if it is a product that is the most expensive in the cart, we will not show this specific product. So in this case, you need to decide what to do if the product that this widget wants to show is tagged with no upsell. So what you can do is basically the same options that you had for the specific product. You can either display it anyway. If this is the option that you choose, there's really no point in using the uh, product exclusion tags anyway. So I would just opt out of the exclusion tags. You can hide the widget or you can display an alternative product where you manually decide on a product. I don't have any products that I want to exclude from this upsell, so I'm just going to completely not set up any exclusion tags. Now scrolling down, we have the product title. This is the product title. If you don't write anything here, then we will just show the product title. But if you want to give another description, you can do that. And I'm actually going to leave it as that. I'm gonna leave it as the default product title. Next, we have the option to choose where to display the product title. It can be above the image or below the image. And I like it above the image, so I'm gonna keep it here. The next option you have is to display the product description or not. Now here I recommend that you be cautious because if your product descriptions are very long, it is going to make the thank you page so long. It's going to stretch down and the button will also go down and it's for sure going to hurt your visibility and conversion rate. So I usually like to not show the product description, but if you're showing a specific product where you know the description is not very long and it's important, go ahead and display it. Next, you can choose what to do with product images. So let's say the product has more than one image. You can either show it as a slideshow, which is the default option. And these arrows allow the customer to actually scroll through the product images. And you can also customize the arrow color. Next you have show the products below the main image and here we have what it's going to look like. If there are more than three additional images you will actually have arrows in here to allow the customer to scroll through them. Of course if it clicks one it's going to enlarge it. And lastly you can actually decide to not show any of the product images just the main one. I personally don't love this option because customers usually want to see different angles of the product and actually get to view it in different ways before they make a decision to purchase. So I'm going to keep it as a slideshow. Now when we scroll down there are more options that we can choose. For example, do you want to show a quantity picker or not? If you decide not to show a quantity picker, your customer will only be able to buy one of the product. It's a good idea if you have limited stock, but I always like to show the quantity picker. If someone wants to buy two instead of one, then who am I to stop them, right? Next, we have the quantity picker text. So this is basically going to control what is written right here. If you want to change the language or even just use a different word. And next we have a variant selection. So you can disable this 
and then your customers will only be able to buy the default variant of this product. So when you enable the variant selection, the customer will see drop downs for each of the variants. So if you have one variant, he will see one. If you have two, he will see two. It's not always going to be three. This is just a demonstration of what it would look like. Next, you have the option to display the vendor or hide it. And I usually hide it, but maybe it is important to you and to your customers. And then you can show the vendor right here. Now scrolling down, we have the star reviews option. We don't have any star reviews integration enabled right now, so I can't actually do that. But I'm going to go ahead and set up a star reviews integration really quickly, just so you can see what it looks like. Okay, so I enabled an integration with Lux a reviews app. If you want to know how to do that, we have videos for each of the apps that we integrate with. We're gonna have it linked somewhere up here and also in the description if you're watching this on YouTube. And if you're watching this in the app, all you have to do is go into the general settings, scroll down and you will see this option there, as well as videos to explain each of the integrations. Scrolling down, now I actually see the option to display star reviews and all I have to do is click it and star reviews will be displayed here. Of course, this is just general information. It's not an actual product. You need to take into account that depending on the app that you are using, if there are absolutely no reviews for this product, it will either not show the uh, star reviews section at all, or it will show empty stars. Just so you know, it's not really up to us. It's really up to how your reviews app works. Now for the interesting part, the discount. You want to give your customers a discount on the product upsell just because you want to encourage them to buy. And we always encourage you to give as big of a discount as possible because on the thank you page, you've already returned the investment of this customer. You already bought something. You can afford to give them a bigger discount and actually still have a profit from that. You can choose either a pre-made discount, which means you have to create it in your store and just give us the discount code here. Or you you can let us manage it and select automatic discount. Now when you select automatic discount, it can either be a percentage, a free shipping discount, a fixed amount per unit sold or a fixed amount for the entire order. So for example, if the customer bought two of these products, he will in this case get the discount twice and in this case only get the discount once. I always go for percentage, but again, it's up to you. So the first thing you need to do is set up the actual discount value and I'm going to give 20% you can select a discount name the default is thank you deal you can change that doesn't really matter that much this is just a discount code that your customer will see at the checkout and you can decide to apply free shipping as well this helps you because sometimes the customer just bought something and now he buys another something and you're going to ship both of those together and you don't want to charge him double the shipping i'm going to give free shipping here but again it is completely up to you and you can also change the discount for free shipping the name of it this section might be a little confusing so stay with me we have the different prices settings you have three prices for each one of these products and let's explain what each of them is the product compared to price is the product compared to price on Shopify. So let's say that on Shopify, this product has a 50% discount. This is the original discount the customer sees on Shopify, regardless of any discount he gets from Reconvert. The product price is the buying price of this product. So if there is a discount, this is the price after discount. And lastly, the product price, including discount, is actually the final price that the customer will get after the reconvert discount. So in this case, if I am giving 20% off, this price is 20% off this price. I hope this is clear. If not, let us know in the comments and we'll try to clarify it as best as we can. Now you can decide which prices to show. We always recommend that you show the product compared to price, the original product price, with the discount from Reconvert, because this way the discount seems the largest. But you can also show the actual product price from the store and not the compared to price if you prefer to. And then what you can do for each one of these is you can play around with the size of the price and the color. So here I'm going to show uh, this color as this kind of green and this one we're gonna make it black. So here it is clear exactly what the final price is for the customer. 
Next and last, we have the buy button. So you can do buy now, which is the default, but I'm actually going to make the button a little bigger and make the button what tells the customer what the discount is. So buy for 20% off with these arrows and the goal is just to make the button a little bigger, make sure it is noticeable and also make sure the customer sees the discount. You can change the color and text of this button, but by default the app takes your checkout button colors. So now let's save this template and actually see this widget on real life. I have an order here, I'm just gonna go ahead and view this order status page. Okay, so you can now see the product upsell on a real life thank you page and we have the most expensive product in the cart, in this case there's only one product, we have it with a discount. You can see the product title, of course you might want your titles to be a little prettier, otherwise maybe change them. You have the images here that you can just scroll through, see the product from all different angles, see the size because it is smaller than we thought it would be. You can choose a quantity picker because we actually don't have variants for this product. You can see the prices here with the discount and just buy it for 20% off. When you click get it for 20% off, you are redirected to something that we call the two steps checkout. So the two steps checkout basically allows you to let the customers buy without having to re-enter the shipping method, their location, their address, nothing. We already have all of their personal details. All you have to do is actually re-enter the payment details and complete the order. I'm going to use cash on delivery because this is a test store. But then with only one simple click, I have completed my purchase. Okay, so now the customer actually completed the purchase without having to re-enter all of his details. It's way easier and faster and improves conversion rates. Now, as you can see, this is a different thank you page than the one we saw before. We have some different elements here. And the reason is this store is using something that we call triggers. If you wanna learn more about it, you can check out the help videos in the help section or in the links below this video. Now, before before we end this video, I just want to ask you if you like the app, please leave us a review on the Shopify App Store. It really helps us out and it helps us reach other merchants like you. As I mentioned in the beginning, this widget is one of the most converting ones, so I highly recommend that you use it and I hope this video was helpful in setting you up with this widget and getting started with conversions. I hope this video was helpful. This widget has a lot of options to it, so it's really up to you to customize it and make it your own. And if you have any questions, always feel free to reach out to us in any way that you want. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell notification, and like this video, and I will see you in the next one.